So air circulation is another critical part of the greenhouse environment. And the, uh, it, it's, it's hard to put a specific number uh, as far as CFM, cubic feet per minute of a fan. We have a little compact fan here. These are very popular because you can just clamp this on to the frame or onto a shelf and this will blow air about oh, 15 feet. The thing you need to know about air circulation is that the plants are accustomed in their natural environment to having the air blow through them and uh, sweep, uh, the, the air sweep across the plant leaf is very healthy. And in a greenhouse, if it's all closed up and the, the fan isn't running, uh, heater isn't running, the air just goes stagnant. And so to increase the health of the plants, you want constant air movement in the greenhouse. So this, uh, this is an example of a little fan, it's got two speeds. Um, and what you really wanna do is, is kind of just use your judgment about, does it feel like the air's moving? Or does it feel like it's really stagnant? So if you feel like you can go to the opposite end of the greenhouse and you can feel some air movement, then you've got enough air. The more plants you put in the greenhouse, the more air circulation you need because this little fan We'll do, uh, say, an eight by 10 greenhouse, eight foot by 10 foot greenhouse, but not if it's full of plants. We need two of these. So it's a kind of a judgment thing, but you do need to have this in the greenhouse. And it runs 24 hours a day, <clears throat> 24 hours a day. And so you just plug it in and let it run and forget about it. Now, during the winter, you might want to mount it up high and have it direct the air down because the warm air is gonna collect at the ceiling and this will push the warm air back down to the plants. If your greenhouse uh, seems to be overheating and you wanna increase the venting through the roof vents, then you can direct the air and this will actually help vent the greenhouse by blowing the warm air out the vents. So it's got multiple uses.